Hello welcome back to ready controls you have learned how to build a vision based cada dashboard now let's do it in perspective why because ignition perspective gives you the ability to develop browser based mobile friendly cada dashboards that works across devices perfect for modern operations ready to build your first responsive cada screen in ignition perspective let's go this is what we going to develop a simple perspective dashboard with couple of pages that you could launch on a web browser without getting delay we go go back to the same go back to the gateway go to config projects and create a project called perspective quick start which i have already created and once we have that created we go back into the gateway and launch the perspective quick start file and once you are in the page you would see a display like this the layout looks like this where the session you got the perspective here expand the window and create perspective views right click and create new view and in the view you can create a name for the view as main view and we have a couple of several selections here for the container type coordinate uh container is great for pixel perfect positioning but it doesn't resize well for mobile friendly and we use flex containers which are ideal for responsive design it adjust elements accordingly across automatically across devices and we have the split container that divides the view into resizable sections great for side by side layouts like nav bar and content area then we have the tab container that allows us to stack multiple views under label tabs ideal for organizing related screens like different machine panels or setup and config tabs then we have the column type container which helps us creating adaptive layouts in structured vertical layouts for this uh, video we'll just create couple of uh, views in perspective one using a coordinate container one using a flex container and see how both of them react so once you create select the container make sure you select the page url and you give it a name as main page that way we can use that uh, url to launch the page so once you created that main view your view looks like like this which is plain and since it's a coordinate container you can use positions of x and y 0 0 starts here and then relative positions so we'll go ahead and drop a label we'll just go ahead and just put a label display so we can drag and drop the label display anywhere and we go into the properties of the label display and under text we say welcome to ready controls and as you can see the position of this one is at 164 pixels so that's why this is 164 pixel and at 103 on the width and if you want to put it on the top left side you can select x as 0 and y if you want to do at the top you just do y0 x0 and you could extend it resize it however you want to so this is the advantage of uh, coordinate container is you can have accurate positioning using pixels so if you want to drag and if you want to add a logo we'll go out to the place where you have the logo i have them on my ready controls logo is here i'll go out and drag and drop the container and it will ask you to go out and upload and it will paste it here and there are a couple of selections again here with the mode we could just use fill that will fill the size which you want and same thing for positioning you could always use the width and positioning as x0 and y positioning and then we'll go ahead and add a button that would send us to the next page so we'll go ahead and take a button drag and drop and we added it right here and we'll call it as a go to the next screen so we call it as a machine overview maybe machine overview is what we want to call it so we go ahead and save this page and we go to views create one more view and we call it a machine overview and we link a page url and it will automatically take me in and here we'll select a flex container just to show the differences so now we have a flex container and flex container you could see the direction of way how it are, puts the components is either row based or column based right now it's column based and they're all stretched and justify is flex start and then you have multiple and you could wrap or don't wrap the content so we'll we'll for simplicity we'll just drop a a led display and the moment we dropped it it showed up on the top here that's because we selected a uh, column so if i do row it will come back here but we'll go back to column and we center it and that's where the center justification and to tag map it we go to the values 
and tag select the tag path and all providers sample tags ramp and ramp zero okay apply so that's how you map a tag and now we want to add a button to go back to the previous page so we'll go ahead and add a button take a button and put it in drag and drop the button onto the page select the button and the button is right on the top there if you want to bring it down you cannot bring it down because of a flex container property so we'll try to bring it down here let's see what would wrap to so if i select the button and we'll go ahead and rename like this button to go to the main page and now we created both buttons one to go to the machine overview and on the machine overview going back to the main page so we'll go ahead and map the machine overview all you do is right click then configure events on action performed select navigation and we want to go to machine overview we could open in new tab apply cancel we save this one then we right click configure events configure events i need to select the component you need to select the component until you see the dots around it and then you'll have an option of configure events and then you say on action performed we select navigation and we want to go to the main screen apply so that's it that's how you created uh, two perspective pages now let's see how they show up so we'll go back to the main views here and if you right click on the main launch url remember the main page is a coordinate container page type so we try to zoom in and out on the thing as you can zoom in see the picture is the logo is not adjusting whereas if you go back to the machine overview page and launch url machine overview page is automatically adjusting based on the screen size right so that's a bigger advantage with the flex container is it's responsive that means it adjusts the position based on uh, the size of the window so now to change or to make the coordinate container also behave the similarly there is a work around we go back to our main overview click on the root see the mode is fixed if we change that to percent and then make the width as 100% save and go back to the views on the main view go ahead and launch url now page adjust accordingly it's still okay it tries to keep the width 100% but it's not the same as how the flex containers so this is a simple workout work around the uh, responsiveness so just like that you have built your first responsive scada dashboard using ignition perspective i have created a entire playlist around ignition just for you to help you learn ignition that will pop up on the top right corner now in the next video we will dive deeper into layout containers and responsive design tricks if you like this video please like it channel and drop a co comment and your comment would be the idea for my next video thank you